Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and hey, today we're going to look at that spider tank I set up. This spider tank is very similar to the one Leo made on the Leo Kim video channel, but it's a little different because this is Black Widow spiders and those are Redback spiders. Remember, the Redback spider is a cousin of the Black Widow. It's Australia's version of the Black Widow spider. But since I'm not in Australia right now, then I have Black Widow spiders in my house, and it's really been pretty good because I have only found one in the last week. Very good, right? Now my spider tank is not gonna be as dynamic as his was, so we're only gonna check it out every, you know, maybe two weeks and I'll give weekly updates. The tank was originally set up with one female black widow and a couple of egg sacs, and then we put the Vaseline all on the top and we're having some problem with that. But we're not really counting that first black widow in the whole mix here, and I'll explain why. So what we did is we found three more female Black Widows and then I had another smaller one and we put them all in the tank. So this tank should have a total of five Black Widows. They are either all females or it's four big females and one male. I did find one other one that one I found just the other day and I haven't put that one in there and really overnight it laid an egg sack in a little container I had it in. So, except for that sneak preview I showed you last week, we're going to call this week one, and this is the official grand rollout. So today I'm going to put in a bunch of tiny crickets. We have, these are smalls, and I have about 30 of them in the bag. I got them from Petco. It's where the pets go. We're going to dump these in here. Also, we have two of these roaches. Now, I'm going to put these roaches in here because what these roaches do is, well, well obviously what do roaches do? They eat things and they make baby roaches. Normally what you do if you have a lizard or a pet along those lines, small spider or something, get a couple of breeding roaches like this, and then they lay the eggs and have the little uh, roach babies, and then your lizard or whatnot would eat those roach babies. So that's why we have these in here. Whoa, okay, I have to get this one loose. <laughs> We're not supposed to get caught up in the web. These are breeders. They're not supposed to be food. Let me just take care of this. Destroyed a little bit of web doing that, but hey, they're spiders. They'll make more. So if you look at the right-hand side of the tank, down on the bottom, underneath those two Black Widow egg sacs, you will see a bunch of exoskeletons of crickets. When I originally put that first Black Widow in here, I'd toss a couple of crickets in there, and, you know, I'd see the spider for a while, and then we hadn't seen her. So I don't know where she is. She's probably in here somewhere. But the proof that she was in here, and probably still is, are those exoskeletons of crickets. She was guarding those egg sacs, and she just dropped down and eat them crickets. Or as she was guarding the egg sac, she'd go hunt and she'd go drag a cricket back there and then wrap it up and then feed on it and then, bam, suck all the juices out of it and this is what's left. In a habitat like this, when you put the crickets in, if they're bigger crickets, they will start laying cricket eggs and then you have little cricket babies in here. Little teeny tiny little pinheads. And then they'll get bigger. So with these 30 smalls I put in, some will get eaten, probably a bunch will get eaten, big black widows, but several will grow to maturity and start laying eggs. Depending on what you're feeding, like in my lizard tank, you can have a community in there of crickets and they will be self-sustaining. Well, I mean, you've got to feed them. Well, they'll eat each other if you don't feed them. But the population will manage itself. The crickets, some will get eaten, some will grow to maturity, lay eggs, babies will be born, some will get eaten, some will grow to maturity, lay eggs. Yeah, so you can have a population that will sustain itself for quite a while. So you won't have to put new crickets in. In this case, with the Black Widows, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. So right now, I can only find two of the Black Widows. We have this one here in the front, and then there's one in the back. See if we can see this. Right in that archway of that castle, there's a Black Widow. Now remember, there is at least, well, there, there's at least these two, and there's probably three more unless they got eaten, and they're probably hiding. Remember, they don't like the light. Now this tank is kept in a bigger tank. This is a five and a half gallon tank and it is kept inside a 20 long. Both the tanks have the sliding latching lids. So if a spider escapes for some reason or is really sneaky, it will be held in the outer containment, hopefully. But I would occasionally find web in the outer area. So yeah, which means something got out of what it was being held in. So if I'm holding a Black Widow in a little jar or container until I get a chance to film it, it will be inside of a big tank like the 20 long. 
So right before I started filming, I had to slide that big 20 long tank out and then lift this five and a half gallon tank out. And as I was doing it, it kind of disturbed things a little bit. Not, not much, I didn't drop it or anything. But as I was setting up the camera on the tripod, I could see there in that archway and there's just two spiders dangling. The big spider in there and either another female black widow or possibly this one out in the front, they were in there tangling. So what happened was they were probably in there fairly close to each other. They got jostled around, got mad at each other and started fighting. Or if we were just lucky, we just happened on the exact moment that one spider walked in and surprised the other spider. Either way, they went their separate ways and I don't see any spiders being eaten. If you have not asked this yet, I'm sure you will. Why in the world would you have a spider tank if you've been finding black widows in your house? If you have a problem with something in particular, say black widow spiders, for instance, and they're in your house and you're trying to figure out where they live and what they do and, and, and how they actually work, how they think, get inside their mind, in the mind of a spider. You have to be able to observe them to understand them. So when you catch one and you put it in a container, say, I'll film it later, and then you see it's doing weird things in there, what the hey? I had that one black widow spider who laid three egg sacs in like three and a half, four days. <laughs> if they can lay egg sacs like that, yeah. And remember, a female black widow spider, she only has to mate one time, and then she can just lay egg sacs whenever she wants to. Yeah, pretty scary. And I'm not sure if these are like praying mantis egg sacs, because a praying mantis can lay an egg sac, but it could be unfertilized and not be viable. It could just be the, the egg case thing that she laid. So does a spider do the same thing? Just lays these egg sacs and some might hatch and some may not be fertilized and may never hatch. Well, actually may never. They're not going to hatch if they're not fertilized. I don't know. Because if every egg sac that they lay is going to hatch into 100 to 200 little baby spider babies, man, we're in trouble. Because I have witnessed and actually found a total of maybe 18 or 19 egg sacs just in the temporary containments. Now, I, we found a couple egg sacs around the house, and that was scary. But I mean, this 18 or so egg sacs, this is just ones that spiders that we've had in a jar temporary waiting to film them have just laid, just bam, bam, bam. If you put a spider in a jar for a week, it's going to lay at least one or two egg sacs. I don't know, but Black Widow should not be wandering around your house. you, you got to figure, they say if you have one roach that you see, there's probably a hundred that you don't see. I don't know what the ratio is for Black Widow spiders, but if they're wandering around the house, there could have been, you know, thousands of them at that time. But like I said, we've only found one in the last week, so that's, that's really good. So we'll keep you updated on this spider tank. I don't want to put a video up once a week because, you know, it's not really going to be all that exciting. So I'm not going to sit and film it for days at a time. I just don't have the time. What I have learned from watching the videos on Leo Kim video channel is do not put a light on the tank when the tank is open. If they're spider babies, it will attract them. So I'm using an overhead LED light here to film. And the camera really doesn't like the LED light, but I'm using it to film but there's not a bunch of spider babies here. So if there were spider babies, I would probably take the light and lay it along the side of the tank, and we'd have to just use the ambient overhead light for filming purposes. So anyways, on the one side of the tank, you can see where the globs of the Vaseline are starting to drip down. Well, that's because I have a heat lamp on the 20 large, the outer tank, and that is sorted down that end. It's not right next to it. I just need to get a little heat in there because I don't want it to be too cold for the spider babies. I guess if it's too cold, the spiders will live. They, they don't mind the cold, but they will kind of be very lethargic or maybe go dormant, and they just won't really do anything, and we want them to do something so we can learn about them. And as also you can see in this video, after I missed it, things that kind of started getting a little wet and humid in there and was uh, really hard to see. So we'll, we'll work the bugs out of this one way or another. Get it, work the bugs out. <laughs> All right, so I hope you found this video educational. Class, class, anyone? Anyone? All right, so I'll leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.